When it comes to catching snapper on soft plastics, uh, a lot of people just sort of jam the, the plastic onto the hook. Mm. It'll look like it's got a bend in it. I mean, you no. really got to have presentation, yep. even for catching these wild fish on the ocean. Yeah, well, lure manufacturers such as Prale will go to a lot of great lengths to make sure that you've got the great soft plastic. Here's one of their finesse shads. All right, and I've got a 3.8 jig head. Now, if I was gonna, just going to slap happily throw this on, yep. like that, and then throw it out, yeah. what I've got there is a, a great mess. You see, it's got kinks and bubbles in it. That's not going to... Right. Look, what no. you want it to do yep. is you want it to feed it on nice and straight. So you're taking it off and putting it back on. You can do that. Yep, yep. Okay. And... Pro Lure have these nice little hook grooves here. Right, and okay. They help you line up your hook. You just make sure you follow your yep. shaft of your hook through there. Yep. Bring it out. Looks perfect. Slide on there. Yep. And if you've got it done right, you get a nice straight lure. That. And that will just glide down, and the weight of the head will just help it glide down, and you get the natural action of the tail. There you have it. And you've got a sticky hook, nice and proud, ready to stick into the fish's mouth. Can't get any simpler than that. So you're right, it's all about correction when it comes to having your soft plastic nice and straight, not bent, not kinked, and it's going to increase the chances of getting that proper hookup. Good on you, PJ. No worries, Bertie. Nice tip.